I paid a dollar for this at the local flea market. I thought it was an interesting looking pokey thing. I haven't found one quite like this before. It's got sort of a conical shaft. It looks like the point has been resharpened over the years. And this short rounded wood handle it seems like it fits fits like that really well. Not sure what it would have been used for. It kind of reminds me of this Marlin spike on this British Army clasp knife. That's used for working with rope. So maybe this is some sort of rope working tool? Don't know. It looks like the wood handle is pinned on. The pin runs all the way through. It's just been mashed over on both ends. I think I'm going to file that back. See if I can knock that pin through. Might be easier to clean this up if it was apart. We'll see how it goes. Well, let me give it a whack and see what happens. I think it's moving. Here it is apart. The, the end of the wood handle looks like it was whittled upon. It's kind of crudely done. The inside of the shaft also seems kind of crude. This kind of conical ice cream cone kind of design that reminds me of the way they used to do old chisels. See how that has that same sort of bottom of an ice cream cone kind of shape? And the, the wood handle for this chisel would have fit in, you know, just like that. And then you would hit it with a mallet here. It makes me wonder if, if that's what the intention of this was, that this was supposed to be something you strike with a mallet. Maybe this wasn't always a pointy tip. Maybe it had a different kind of tip on it. I don't know. Interesting, right? Can you see down in there? That's about as good as I can get it for you. There you go. I've been picking at it for a little bit. Trying to get rid of all the loose stuff. I think I hit bottom. I think this piece has a date with the evaporust. While the evaporust is working on this, I can go ahead and work on the wood handle. Some folks use a razor blade to scratch off the old finish. I prefer my pocket knife. I got it sanded down to 320. It's nice and smooth. There's some remnants of the red stain and a couple imperfections. 
But I think that's going to be okay considering the finish I'm planning on using. Here's the pokey part after the evaporust. An interesting side effect of the magic juice is that it'll leave the heat treated parts a little darker gray. So you can see how far up they hardened the tip of this thing. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm going to replace the steel pin with a larger brass pin. I think that'll make an interesting feature on this, having the brass pin. I'm going to drill out those holes. Here's the larger brass pin in place. Whoever drilled the original pinhole didn't get it quite centered, but I think once there's a handle in place, you won't really notice. I think I'm going to start off with the 120 grit belt in my 1x30 machine, and then hopefully switch right over to the conditioning belts. Here it is after the 120 belt. I didn't get every blemish out. I tried to concentrate on making the tip look better. I'll try to blend out some of these blemishes with the conditioning belts now. Here's the pokey part after the coarse and medium conditioning belts. I'm not going to use the fine conditioning belt on it because I plan to cold blue this. And I find that a little rougher surface uh, gives better results with the cold blue. My tip looks real nice now. So here's my plan. I'm going to epoxy the wood handle in place, then I'm going to drill out for the new pin, then I'm going to epoxy the pin in place, sand it down flush, and then I'm going to finish the handle, and finally I'm going to blue the pokey part. When I epoxy pins in place, I like to rough up the surface with coarse sandpaper to give the epoxy something to grip to. I added this bronze gold mica powder to my epoxy when gluing the pin in place. I'm hoping the, the tinted epoxy helps fill in any voids between the pin and the hole I drilled out. I'm interested to see if this works. You can see where the gap was. The epoxy filled it in. I don't know if that mica powder is making it look better or not. Okay, here's what this pokey thing looked like when I brought it home from the flea market.
So what do you think? I chose to blue the pokey part to better show off that extra large brass pin. And the Bombay mahogany, that always looks nice. I was not able to find another pokey thing quite like this one online. The whittled handle, the roughly formed socket, and the off-center pinhole suggest that this was handmade. The evaporust revealed that whoever made this took the time to properly harden the tip. I found that the socket design is popular in Japan. They are called Kujiri socket awls. So maybe this pokey thing was handmade by a Japanese craftsman. How cool would that be? I'd be interested to hear from anyone who has a pokey thing like this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I already put that free pile Black & Decker workmate to use. That's 20 birdhouses for 100 and county parks. If you go hiking in a county park in 100 county, New Jersey, and you see a blue birdhouse, chances are it's mine. I asked Chuck to help me with quality control. Thanks, Chuck.